Whitney, I am so glad you're still here. So did Gwen and Ethan believe that Chuck was really your boyfriend? It was a miracle. I was this close to confessing that there was never anyone for me but Ethan when Chuck appeared out of thin air and gave the most incredible performance. Well, what can I tell you? Move over, Johnny Depp. <laughs> he was so convincing, I almost thought he was my boyfriend. Thank you so much, Chuck. I really appreciate it. I know it was kind of a weird thing for me to ask. Anything but... <laughs> for my favorite doubles partner, Whitney. Besides, I can think of a lot tougher jobs than playing Romeo to her Juliet. If you ever get this guy Ethan out of your system, let me know. Don't I wish. I wouldn't count on it, Chuck. She's ridiculously obsessed. I am not obsessed, Whitney. I am in love. Besides, I can't get Ethan out of my system because he finally realizes that I'm telling the truth all along. What about Gwen? She's the one you need to convince. I'm not sure she bought it, but if Ethan did, what can she do? I'm home free. I'll be right back. I've just got to call my coach, find out when we're leaving for this tennis tournament we've got tomorrow. <laughs> I just wish Chuck could have shown up five minutes earlier. Then I wouldn't have had to hear Ethan accuse me of lying to him. That was the worst moment of my entire life. How can you have the nerve to complain when you just escape certain death? Yes, you're right, you're right. Fate has handed me the most wonderful opportunity of my life. Fate? It was me. Once again. I mean, come oh, on. Oh, and I can't thank you enough. And now that I've got Chuck to drool all over me, I can make Ethan jealous. Teresa. And it shouldn't take any time at all before Gwen loses it. Then Ethan will see her for the possessive shrew she really is. What are you doing, Teresa? Get him out of there before Gwen asks him even more questions he can't answer. Oh, thank you for putting up with all of Gwen's obnoxious questions, Chuck. Glad I could be of help. And how did you ever come up with that, that crazy story about your great-grandfather inventing the paperclip? Easy. He did. The stapler, too. Oh, I gotta go. I'll see you on the courts next week, Whitney. I owe you, Chuck, big time. <laughs> Bye. No. What is it? Ethan and Gwen. He's kissing her. He loves her, Teresa. He only thinks he does because he hasn't realized he's in love with me. She may have him now, but I'm gonna have him forever.